My first and last name is Kate Banger. Adam Bieber. I'm Allison Hannon. Dante Dillard. Jasmine Salazar. My name is Adam El Khalili. Jay Tennis. My name is Morgan Kanoy. So currently I'm involved in Student Council, NHS, Kiet, the Fall Play, and I started Rotten Raiders Movie Club with Jasmine Salazar. Go us, we're both making <laughs> making it on here. Um, currently I'm participating in marching band and I also play in the jazz band, pet band, and pet band for musical. I currently play soccer. I am president of Kiet's, secretary of NHS, and I'm a representative of student council. Uh, football, yeah, that's it. Freshman and sophomore year, I did Raiderettes. Junior year, I took a break and did photography. And senior year, <laughs> I will be directing the fall play and I started my own club called Ron Raiders. Yeah, I'm involved in the fall play. This will be my fourth year doing it. I'm involved on the swim team. This will also be my fourth year doing it. I'm part of National Honor Society and I recently just got into athletic leadership. I am on the volleyball team. Um, I'm part of student council. Um, I'm a leader of crew, Kiets, Buddies Club. Um, choir, musical, the play. Life. I would definitely, I would be a transient whale because they're like so cool. And I went whale watching once and it was the best day of my life. Oh, I'd be a tiger shark because um, when tiger sharks are in the womb, they, there's like a lot of tiger sharks and they fight each other and the survivor is born. So it'd be cool to like fight other tiger sharks and then be the survivor, and then be born. Be like, yeah, no big deal, I just defeated 50 tiger sharks. I'm the winner, I'm bored, it's all good. I'd probably be a beaver, because <laughs> um, they have some pretty cool traits, um, but they can pretty much block up an entire river. Um, definitely not biased at all, though that's my last name. I'd, okay, well I'd wanna say some kind of bird, so I could fly, but also like deep down, I think I think I'm like a hippo or something, you know? Like deep down, I think I'm a hippo, even though I'd want to say I'm like a bird, like an eagle. Deep down, I think I'm a, I'm a hippo. The last picture on my phone is my physics C class having fun with Mr. Smiley talking about pulleys, but it's actually a video. <laughs> It's on a Finsta, and it's like one of the like Tumblr posts, and it says, do you ever look at your body and regret all the junk food you've eat, ever eaten, but then proceed to eat more junk food to comfort yourself? Uh, I think it's Stuart Little. <laughs> yeah, because I was talking about somebody. It's <laughs> uh, my favorite vine is the Patricia vine. Do it for us. Patricia! <laughs> we have a show this week and get it together, sweetie. Oh, it's it's the one with my name in it. Where it's like, um, where it's like, I forget what it was, but it's like, Adam. Iridocyclitis. <laughs> I really like the smell like beef vine. I smell like beef. I smell like beef! Big girls don't cry. Sing it for us. <laughs> I hope you know, I hope you know, that this is nothing to do with you. <laughs> no brainer. Yeah, 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 ooh. <laughs> uh, probably Tunak Tunak Tun. It's uh, my favorite song, and it's this Indian song. Sing it. Okay, well, it starts like, and then there's like, dance moves involved, where you have to like, move your shoulders and stuff. But, um, okay, it looks something like this. But it, but it's called Tunak Tunak Tun, but he's singing Someone like you. Sing it for us. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, I'll find someone like you. She'd be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Oh, grrr. Yeah. <laughs> oh, grrr. My hair They call me Cody, Cody, Finny, Buddy, Sweeney, Man, Hatta, Molly, Anna, Buddy, Buddy, Girl. How about the girl? Oh, grrr. I like it like that. Hey, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Those are like the only words I know to that song. I've always wanted to have a meal with Kurt Vonnegut because he was a super influential, um, like, Indiana writer, and he wrote a bunch of uh, fiction and some nonfiction, and he was just really cool. If I could have one meal with anybody dead or alive, um, I'd have to say, um, probably Thor. Um, I love the Marvel superhero movies, and I think that'd be pretty cool to have dinner with Thor. I would have a meal with Mac Miller, because <laughs> he was the best guy ever. And I was going to go see him in concert, but I never got a chance to, so I think that would make up for it. Mm, Barack Obama, because he was the first black president. He's going down a one-way street the wrong way because the cops are going the wrong way, too. Is he a cop? <laughs> See, this is a simple answer, I feel like, because it's a one-way street, and he is driving down it. The wrong way. Okay, so is he hitting the cops? He's coming down a one-way street. The cops are just parked and they don't care. Is he flying? It just doesn't make any sense. A truck driver is going down a one-way street the wrong way. It passes at least 10 cops. Why is he not caught? Because he's walking. What the heck? <laughs> oh. Definitely my dad. He's just really genuine and kind, down to earth. Um, I really look up to him and he works so hard. My mother, because like, when her and my dad split, she went through some tough times, but she always made sure that me and my siblings were okay. Um, my dad, because he is the person that I want to grow up to be. Um, just the life that he's made and the things he's done and just the person he is. Literally inspires me every day to just be a little bit more like him. Um, yeah, so shout out to VK. Uh, my biggest inspiration in my life is probably my mom. Um, she's been battling stage four cancer for the past year now, and she's been going pretty strong, and it's really encouraging to me that she's been able to go through this. Uh, my dad would have to be the biggest inspiration of my life. Um, he was the eighth of 10 children. He was born in Syria. He grew up in a very poor family. And uh, at the age of nine, he had to go out on the street and sell like gum or combs just to like make money. And um, he was the, he was considered one of the smartest in his high school. He um, he graduated top of his class, and he only knew Arabic. And so he went to, uh, but he was so smart that he got to go into medical school. And uh, it was tough because he had to translate like the English like medicine names. From, or air, the Arabic, or he had to learn English. And uh, I remember the first time he learned English, he, um, he, like he was watching TV and he was watching football and he heard the announcer say touchdown and he didn't know what touchdown meant, but he knew it meant a good thing. So now every time I do a good thing, sometimes I say touchdown and it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, and then I asked him, why did you work so hard to, you know, get out of Syria and try to make a living? He said, he told me, that he didn't want any of his kids or to ever grow, go through what he had to do. And that, that gets me pretty hard because, um, uh, you know, he saved my life before I was even born. I never had to go through what he ever had to go through. And everything I have is because of him, so he's my inspiration right there. It would definitely be the ability to, like, stop time, but, like, I could keep going because, like, if I wanted a few extra hours of sleep, I would just stop time and sleep. Or like a few extra hours to finish Clumpy's test, probably stop time, do the math. <laughs> um, if I had a superpower, it would 
probably be flying because even though it's super cliche, it would be fun to be up in the air and like travel more efficiently. To stop time, because I think a lot about during class just stopping time and I could just like go up, I could like go take a nap, I could drive home and like go get Chick-fil-A or something. Mm, I would kind of want to be like, like a mixture of Spider-Man and the Hulk. I would definitely be Arya from Game of Thrones. Cause she's like, major girl power. She rocks. I like her. Right now, I'm in the middle of watching The Office for the first time. And last year we filmed an Office intro and they had me as Angela. And I feel like sometimes that can be pretty accurate. I'd probably say, oh, I would want to be on Friends and I would be a mixture of Phoebe, Monica, and Rachel. Funny parts of Phoebe, the like sassy parts of Rachel, and then just like Monica is just Monica. If I was in a TV show, I would definitely be SpongeBob, just because I love SpongeBob. <laughs> and I'd obviously be SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, a lot of people tell me I remind them of Ross Geller from Friends. Uh, I think it's because of my, you know, nasally voice. And also I do my pivot impression of him very well, like, pivot, pivot, or you ate my sandwich, my sandwich. I want to go to Purdue and I want to either study um, or major in physical therapy or be a teacher of some sort. I plan on heading to California and studying film, but if I don't get accepted into California schools, I'll probably go to IU for the media school because it just seems really cool. And I still want to pursue film, like whatever way possible. I know what I want to do in life, but I don't want to jinx myself. Oh, well, I'm gonna go to college and try to get my degree and become a special education teacher. Okay, so my favorite high school memory was me in musical practice, and I get a call from my dad, and he's like, yo, the police just called me. Like, did you get in a car accident? And I was like, no, like, I'm in practice. And he was like, okay, well, I'm coming to the school. <laughs> and so I went outside, and my car had been totaled <laughs> while I was in the school, because someone backed into it really, really fast. My favorite Harrison memory was probably just Last year in the TV class, it was just a really good environment with Tyson, and Jake and Kenna and Shay and Esther and all of them because we were like a family because of all the work that we did together. Favorite high school memory would have to be definitely meeting the teachers every year. Like every year I feel like I meet a teacher and they make an impact on my life and it's always like one special teacher. And this year I'd have to say it's definitely LaGuire. She's really touched my heart and has definitely lended a hand to me sometimes for stuff that <laughs> was kind of ridiculous, but I mean, I really appreciate her. I'm Warren Kanoy and you should vote for me for Homecoming Queen. I'm Adam Beaver and vote for me for your Homecoming King. My name is Allison Hannon and you should vote for me for Homecoming Queen. My name's Adam Elkalili and you should vote for me for Homecoming King. My name's Jasmine Salazar and you should vote for me for Homecoming Queen. I'm Dante Dillard and you should vote for me for Homecoming King. My name is Kate Banger and you should vote for me for Homecoming Queen. My name is Jay Tennis and you should vote for me for Homecoming Gang.